There's more about Paxton Roby at his website, which is no time for karma. Com. One of the articles Paxton has recently written is entitled, The Universe is Stranger Than We Can Imagine. You know, it's hard enough just trying to get one's arms around A Course in Miracles or even what you talk about as a view that there is nothing wrong. And now when you talk about the universe being stranger than we can imagine, I can't help but wonder how far down the rabbit hole does this take us? <laughs> Hopefully a long ways. <laughs> it, it's all about getting our mind wrapped around the next step for each of us. And the next step is so radically different than the previous view we've had of life that it is going down the rabbit hole. We have lots of things that are changing out there in the world, like quantum physics. Quantum physics now tells us many things that would have been thought to be science fiction not too many years ago, like there are 11 dimensions of reality, like there are parallel realities, like everything in the universe is entangled. Instant communication between every molecule, if you will, atom, if you will, photon uh, in the universe and every other photon or atom or brick in the universe. Now, it's easier for us to look at the outside world or quantum physics and say, well, maybe that's possible. You know, maybe that's the next step in science, etc. But when we turn around and look inside of ourselves and say, there's been more change in here than we've been seeing outside, then it rattles us sometimes. It is, do I want to believe that? It is, can I accept that? And basically, we're talking about our own divine nature, that we're not limited, that we're not uh, disempowered beings, that we don't have to yield to authority figures, we don't have to yield to powerful egos all over our planet, that we can create the new world view. We're just taking new steps here. Everything is malleable. Everything can be is, has, always has been, formed by thought. Now, the old worldview was, if you wanted to change something, it took hard work. It took exertion. The new worldview is, form follows thought. What we wish to create, we form in our mind. Meditation, prayer, which is what master teachers, the mystics, have always taught. They never condemned people for their behavior. They never said, if you want something created that's lovely, that's beautiful, get your work boots, put on your overalls, and get busy. They always talked about consciousness. So life is very strange, very different than anything we've ever imagined it to be. And it is all about consciousness. I've heard you say, too, that nothing really is what we think it is, or that we really don't have a clue what is going on here. If that's true, that's very unsettling news to somebody who likes to be in control. And I think most of us have been taught control is a very good thing and that's what you want in life. That's changing too, isn't it? That's the critical change, absolutely, right. Now control only has meaning to an individual who believes that they are separate from all other individuals. You want control over. You want to be the boss. You want to be at the top of the pyramid. You want to have the most money, whatever. We see tons of it in our societies today. However, you know, what we're interested in is becoming empowered now in our cosmic sense, in our divine sense. And the absolute truth is that we are not separate from anybody else. That we could not harm another individual without harming ourselves. We cannot heal another individual without healing ourselves. We are completely not separate beings at all. 
what I refer to as Earth School, the life we live on this planet with society, with all of the injustices, all of the problems, all of the challenges that everybody sees with the inhumanity demand that many people exhibit and that sort of thing. That and the simultaneous existence of a loving God are mutually ex exclusive. You cannot have a loving God and have leukemia. You cannot have a loving God and have poverty and starvation. So what, one of the things that we are learning is that life on Earth, I refer to it as an audiovisual training program. I say the a motion picture is a perfect example. You watch the motion picture, you see George Clooney and Matt Damon shooting it out, getting blown to bits, okay? and while you are watching the movie, you're believing it's real. Otherwise, you wouldn't pay for a ticket, right? Unless it was going to seem real to you. If your palms weren't sweating, if your weren't, heart wasn't racing while all of this was going on, and if you weren't angry enough to run up to the screen and kill the bad guy. Okay? And then the next day, you find out, oh, they're making another movie. Nobody was harmed at all. It was just a motion picture. Just an audio-visual entertainment program. Okay? And the moment that we die, that we leave this physical body, step outside a three-dimensional time space, and look back, we remember. Oh yeah, before I was born, before I incarnated there, I knew this. I knew I was going to experience what felt like heavy drama, struggle, fear, and I remembered that as soon as I stepped out of the body, I would be whole again. I would not be in that motion picture anymore. So we can look back at a movie we saw last week and say, that was horrible. But more likely, we look back at a movie we saw last week and say, that was a pretty good flick. Hey, that's kind of what we do when we step out of a life. You say, that was well produced. That, that had a good director. Who was the director? Oh, I was. Ah. So nothing on earth is what it appears to be. Where we're going, where we came from, we have no idea. We have to be open and receptive to a divine perspective of life if we ever wish to acquire that perspective. In the article that Paxton Roby has written, the universe is stranger than we can imagine. He ends up saying everything is on schedule, the healing of Earth is on schedule, the awakening of all individuals is on schedule. More about him at his website, notimeforkarma.com, and many of the articles are now appearing in the Sedona Journal.